What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some breaking news. And the world number two, Naomi Osaka, has withdrawn from the French Open after building pressure from the Grand Slam organizers at the French Open, putting pressure on her about the press conferences that she wasn't going to do for the two weeks at the French Open, finding her as well. Let's go straight to her statement. So this is her statement over on Twitter. She writes, Hey everyone, this isn't a situation I ever imagined or intended when I posted a few days ago. I think now the best thing for the tournament, the other players, and my well-being is that I withdraw so that everyone can get back to focusing on the tennis going on in Paris. I never wanted to be a distraction and I accept that my timing was not ideal and my message couldn't have been clearer. More importantly, I would never trivialize mental health or use the term lightly. The truth is is that I have suffered long bouts of depression since the US Open in 2018 and I have had a really hard time coping with that. Anyone that knows me knows I'm introverted and anyone that has seen me at the tournaments will notice that I'm often wearing headphones as that helps dull my social anxiety. Though the tennis press has always been kind to me and I want to apologize especially to all the cool journalists who I may have hurt, I'm not a natural public speaker and get huge waves of anxiety before I speak to the world's media. I get really nervous and I find it stressful always to try and engage and get give you the best answers I can. So here in Paris, I was already feeling vulnerable and anxious, so I thought it was better to exercise self-care and skip the press conferences. I announced it preemptively because I do feel that the rules are quite outdated in parts and I wanted to highlight that. I wrote privately to the tournament apologizing and saying that I would be more than happy to speak with them after the tournament as the slams are intense. I'm gonna take some time away from the court now and when the time is right, I really want to work with the tour to discuss ways we can make things better for players, press and fans. Anyways, hope you are all doing well and staying safe. Love you guys. I'll see you when I see you. So there it is. There's the statement from Naomi Osaka behind the whole situation going on with the French Open, not doing press conferences, and also saying in that statement that she's been suffering from depression and mental health issues since the 2018 US Open. Now remember that US Open final that she played against Serena, Serena having that outburst and the crowd booing her. So that was her first experience as a Grand Slam champion. And ever since then, it seems that she has been suffering from anxiety. It's refreshing to see how honest she was in that statement and how all of the attention, the media attention, obviously she's a big deal in Japan as well. She's a worldwide superstar at the moment, not just in tennis, but on the world stage as well and how it's all affecting her mental health. So let me know down in the comments below. Did she make the right decision? Personally, I think she did. I think maybe the timing, like she said, was off. Maybe she shouldn't have played the first round. She probably should have pulled out before the tournament. Had she have known this was going to blow up, I guess she probably would have done that. And of course, we wish her all the best. She's one of the best players in the world. She's so fun to watch. One of my personal favorites as well. And it's just such a shame to see one of your favorite athletes having to go through mental health issues, anxiety, and we hope to see her coming back on the court so soon. I hope she plays Wimbledon. I don't think she will, but she probably played the Olympics, which would be great to see. She'll get a lot of support there as well from her home country. So Naomi Osaka, she's withdrawn from the French Open for 2021.